Hey guys, I've got a pretty awesome app to show you today. It's called Second Screen. It does require root privileges and it allows you to force your phone or tablet to use a different resolution and DPI so that when you mirror your screen, either via the Chromecast or HDMI, it will display correctly and allow you to use the external display more effectively. Changing the resolution is mainly for those Android tablets where the resolution doesn't quite match normal Full HD, for example 1920 by 1200 which can give you annoying letterboxing, or you could simply use it to downscale or upscale your resolution to match your external display. Now if we open up the display info app on the Nexus 5, I haven't changed any settings yet so it's running at full HD 1920 by 1080 My TV is already the same resolution so I don't really need to change the resolution to match it, but I'll show you guys anyway. So we'll head over to the second screen application and we'll click the plus button, we'll make a new profile, we'll call it test. And from the drop down menu, we'll just go ahead and pick the TV 720p option to test the change in resolution. So this would be useful if you only have a 720p capable TV or you wanted to downscale your 1080p phone like I'm doing right here, you would choose this option. And it gives you a host of other options, which I'll go through a little bit later, but you can see the resolution is 720. It's also changed the DPI to 160. So everything's about to get pretty small here. I'm gonna untick some of these settings that I don't wanna change. And that's pretty much it right now. So we'll just go ahead and hit save so I can show you this in the top right hand corner and we'll hit load test. Now it takes about 10 seconds for this to take effect. You'll see your screen blink a bit. You'll see the applications get bigger and then should be smaller depending on what you set your DPI to. Uh, the system UI restarts, you can see the status bar just disappeared. But when it all comes back online, you'll see because of the DPI, everything is very small here. Um, but it now has been set to a different resolution. So if we go ahead and go into the display info application, you'll see the resolution is now 1280 by 720. So it has actually changed it. Now you're probably wondering why this is useful. Well, it's better if I actually show you why this is useful rather than just describing it. So let's head over to the Chromecast and check it out. So I've gone back to the default settings for the Nexus 5. You can see it's at 1920 by 1080. The second screen application isn't doing anything at the moment and the cast will be at the device's resolution. So this will be at 1080p. So this is just an example to show you what normally happens when I cast my screen with the default out the box settings to the Chromecast. We'll do that right now. So we'll dive into the settings and we'll wait for it to appear. There it is. We'll choose my Chromecast. You should see it activate in the background. And here it is. So it all looks good right now. It's at 1080p. We're going to go ahead and open Google Plus and we'll then rotate it so it actually fills the screen. And what you can see is, well, it doesn't really use the huge external screen effectively. We can just about see two posts like you could on a phone, but this is a large 55 inch TV that it's casting on right now and it just doesn't use that display effectively. We want more of a desktop like experience when on a display this big. So we'll head over to the second screen application. We're keeping the resolution at 1080p because my device and TV both have the same resolution so it matches. We're changing the density to 240 DPI and that's pretty much it right now. So we'll just go ahead and we'll load this up. So we'll go back, we'll go into the profile and we'll just hit load my profile. You don't have to disconnect or restart the connection, you just have to wait about 10 seconds for the whole UI to refresh like it did before. But once it's done, you can see it's really small on the phone and the UI has changed a bit. So you now have that kind of Nexus 7 UI where you have the different panels. But if we go ahead and check out the Chromecast here and we open up Google Plus this time, and we rotate it again so it goes full screen and straight away you can see a difference. We have a lot more content on the screen and because the display is so big being 55 inches, it's not too small to read. You can see it very easily and it's just a lot better. It's a lot more of a desktop experience than you would have just with you know the normal settings on your phone where you only get one or two posts. And it's just using the external display size a lot more effectively than it was before. Diving back into the app, we have other adjustable settings like overscan. You can have it automatically turn on your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and daydream settings. I have desktop mode in Chrome tick, so it forces Chrome to use desktop sites when second screen is active. Again, more effective use of a larger display. And one of my favorite settings is the option to turn off the back backlight so it should help with battery and heat when mirroring the display. Now if we go into the application settings there's also an option to actually enable auto start so as soon as you plug in the HDMI or you connect your Chromecast it will automatically load a profile and this is something that's really awesome because you can just set it and just forget about it and if we try that right now I'll connect to my Chromecast you'll see that second screen starts to load and it automatically starts changing the DPI of course it will change the resolution if that's something you have set as well and once that's all done if you do have that backlight option to be turned off it will turn off the backlight on the Nexus 5 here you'll see the display goes black but it is still usable you can see my Chromecast is still moving I can still control it this option is going to be great when you want to watch a video or 
or maybe listen to a radio application as the phone's display isn't going to distract you like it normally does. With apps like this, device compatibility will vary, so you might want to check out the XDA thread. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.